This dining room epitomizes everything that coastal living represents. It has a great big farm table that your whole family could lounge around and just stay there for hours and hours of just having fun and sharing time together. This relaxed, casual dining table from Stanley is complemented by these banquettes that I chose for in here because I wanted to be able to seat 10 at this table, but I thought that 10 chairs would be a little leggy. So I made banquettes that would comfortably seat two people in the color block design to give it some punch. It just makes it a little different, a little bit more fun. I was at an antique show and I found a vintage bedspread in the blue and white fabric that was really great. And so I decided to make two oversized runners across the table to not only to break up the length of the table, but to add a little color and pattern as well. And then I put the bleached wicker round mats on top of that to bring back up the color of the table and then just use simple white dishes from Simon Pierce that are my favorite and will never go out of style. I love this organic, funky-shaped bowl on the dining table. You could put fruit in it, you could put pots of ivy in it, or it just makes a nice statement on its own. But I always like for a centerpiece in a dining room table to be low maintenance, so it's not something you're constantly feeling like you have to run out and do a flower arrangement every time you have somebody come over. I like to have something that just makes a statement and just lives there. I found this wonderful paddle mirror made from boat paddles in a great store in Bridgehampton's called Coastal Home. I think it's fantastic. Not only does it give my little nautical touch, but it looks to me like it's almost rotating when you look at it. I think it creates a great focal point for that wall and just hovers right above that beautiful painted sideboard from Stanley, which is loaded with storage of great height and it's also skinny. This painted piece is a great example of how you can combine painted finishes with wood finishes. It sort of lightens up that wall and looks very good with the wood table. I have this great oversized Anglo-Indian box, which is a new box, which is unusual for me to find a new box that I like so much, but I think the pattern and the scale of this really works here. I found these yellow bromeliads and I just put them inside of burlap hanging basket liners, walked away from them, here I am two months later and they're still alive and they haven't been watered once. Talk about a great plant. The light wood finish on the ceiling is a decorative paint finish to bring up the color of the floors and then the beams are white, so they're very graphic in nature. I wanted the sheer gauzy curtains to bring in almost the feeling of air. When I was looking at the fabric in my showroom, I would blow on it because I wanted to see how it would look if the windows were open, which is how I think that you would live here a lot of the time. They have such wonderful weather here. And I think just throwing open these windows and having these curtains just gently blowing is a wonderful thing. Well, because I'm Southern, I love to set up a bar. I've got this great folding tray that I got from West Elm set up under this antique ship's pennant which is another good graphic nautical piece. And then I've got another bar set up on the other side which could be used for serving desserts or appetizers or anything, but I think it's great to have other pieces other than just a sideboard in a dining room. What I love most about this space is that it's filled with this glorious natural sunlight and it really feels like you're bringing in the outside into the space and it just sets the stage for having a great time here, which is what a beach house should be all about.